Oh, Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, how I love you very much. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tommy and I love if you hit that subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a story. This was like a while back. Yeah, when I was younger. And I basically like worship Tinkerbell. <laughs> so if you want to um, hear about my story of worshiping Tinkerbell, then just continue to watch. So basically, when I was like in primary school, which is what you guys call like elementary school, this was probably like primary. I was probably around like eight years old, somewhere around there. I was like eight years old, and I had these two bed spreads, right? What was Tinkerbell? So it was a bed spread. It was it was green I think and it had like Tinkerbell all over it. You know Tinkerbell wears green. Yeah, that's all I can remember. And then I had another one that was purple that was that had kissed me. Like it had the words kiss me written all over it with like lips and kissed it was like it, like lip shaped. I mean with lips, yeah. So it was like kisses on the bed spread. That's why it was called kiss me. And that bed spread was so nice, but I didn't like it basically. I prefer Tinkerbell. I don't know what Tinkerbell did to me. I don't know if Tinkerbell gave birth to me. I don't know if Tinkerbell gave me money. I don't know if Tinkerbell gave me life every day. And I just loved her so much. Like it was crazy. And I would like kneel down by my bed. I would kneel down by my bed and I'll be singing Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell, oh Tinkerbell, oh Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, how I love you very much. <laughs> I used to sing to Tinkerbell as if I was praying to God. Like when I was even praying to God, I won't even be closing my eyes sometimes. Like I won't be closing my eyes. I'll be looking at everybody when they are praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, and you see me opening my eyes, but when it's time to sing to Tinkerbell, you will see me with my two knees on the floor, on the ground, and my hands together, I'll be like, Tinkerbell! <laughs> I don't know why I was so obsessed with Tinkerbell, like, it was crazy, and one day my mom caught me, and she was like, what? <laughs> she was like, what's wrong with this girl? I'm, so, I'm sure in my mom's head, she was like, Oh my gosh, like is there a screw in my head that is missing? <laughs> or a screw that is not supposed to be there, like literally. I was a case as a as a child. I don't even know, like ah it was so bad. I don't know why I don't know, like who does that? It's crazy, right? Like every time my best friends get washed in laundry, right? Kiss me never even got washed. It was always in my wardrobe because I never used to use it. I'll remove my bed spread to get washed. That night, I'll lay that same Tinkerbell bed spread back on my bed so that I can kneel down and sink to Tinkerbell. Can you imagine? And then, like, the Kiss Me bed spread was still very fresh, right? I never used to use it. So one day, I was like, I don't even like this bed spread. Like, I never use it. So since I always use the Tinkerbell one, let me just come up with this brilliant idea. You know how like African attires, right? You basically like choose the design you want and then tailor takes your measurements, blah 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 blah, and then they sew it and you choose what you want, whether it's a dress or a skirt, blah blah blah. So I was like, I'm going to give my mom this bread spread. The bread spread was not even big. It was like <laughs> it was small, not not like tiny, probably like a twin size bed spread. And I told my mom, like, I gave the bed spread to her and I was like um no i didn't give it to her i came up with the idea in my head like in my room i was like okay i'll give this bed spread to my mommy so that she can sew knitting we used to call like like african attire as native right because it's like your native wear so people just call the native for short so i was like i'll give my mom this i'll give my mom this bed spread to sew knitting for me and my sisters is that even smart <laughs> <laughs> like and I, I gave my mom the bed spread to sew native for me and my sisters and my mom thought like she obviously she thought there was something wrong with me like what is wrong with this child like who comes up with this idea I took scissors like I actually took scissors and like cut this bed spread I was like hey this is my size this is my big sister size this is my small sister size and I'll go and give it to my mom to sew native for us wow how stupid like as a kid I, I was 
I don't even know what was wrong with me. I don't know what was over me. But like, thank God. <laughs> I'm not like that. Like, I'm still mischievous. But it's not like that kind of mischievous. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm still mischievous. But like, it's not that kind of mischievous. It's not the level where I'll take a bed spray and tell my mom that she should be too soon. How can this bed spread even be enough for me? Like, what the hell? Okay, maybe to me. Like, it depends. It depends on what I want to sew. And all this is the best way for four people. Like, it was crazy. It was crazy. Ah! Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, comment in the comment section if you think there was actually something wrong with me when I was a child. Or if you know what, or if you know what the problem actually was. Please comment in the comments in the comment section down below. Also like this video and subscribe. I'll put my social media handle somewhere on the screen as well as in the description box down below so that you can follow me. Um, I have Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.